Hello guys, welcome with another video. In this video, I will discuss about my interview experience of GKS scholarship. As in this year, I just applied in Kukmin University in master's program for electronics. So let's just begin. So the title of our presentation will be according to GKS. So you can see that is Kukmin University where I gave my interview. So these were the questions that was just taken, or you can say was asked from the different departments. So like if I am from electronic department, so the main department concerned will take my interview and there will be also some ISO representative in that interview as well. So let's just start from here. They will ask you or they will say, that interview introduce yourself so you have to introduce from your name and your qualification where you are so this is a simple introduction don't take it more than one or two minutes that will be enough so next question they asked about why did you choose this university so you have to just answer this according like for this university the engineering faculty is more popular or you can see this is a new faculty of engineering they are giving extra budgets to students or you can say they are providing a practical work that's why i just choose this university so this was the answer given from my side so how will you able to study in korea when you can't speak so you have to just answer according to that you have provided your research plan. So mostly the question will be asked from your research plan. So keep in mind while giving interview, just go through your research plan. So that will be the good point. So for this question, you have to just say that there are many companies in your country or you have just interest for Korea. So when you will learn Korea, you can learn their culture and their language that will enhance your ability of taking job here in your country because in your country, the Korean are just requiring different criteria. Like if you have Korean, that will be a plus one. Like here in Pakistan, if you have a Chinese language or you can speak so this will be the plus point for that chinese company so why did you choose cookman university so you have to answer clearly don't tell a lie yeah you have to just go through that university and you have to read some information in which department you are applying or the brief introduction of your university so how is your education background have you ever worked so you have to answer according to that that was also asked from my side as well so working experience you have to share that what was you what were you doing there and research experience if you have any research experience so what will you do after graduation so you have to answer according to your research plan because you have just mentioned these things in your research plan as well so like if i will do my graduation here in Korea so I can just try to get a job of two to three years that will get my experience and I will go back to my country and will serve in university or in industry that is according to your area of interest so let's go for video where I have recorded my interview I will just blur this interview because of some terms and conditions. This is the just general. That's how they are asking questions. So you can just prepare yourself. Yeah, Sajid. Yes, sir. Okay. So welcome to our interview here. So first of all, why don't you introduce yourself? Sir, sir. As you can see, my name is Sajid Kazi. That is according to passport. I am from Pakistan. I have done my bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and my major was power, like power subjects, power electronics, power transmission, power distribution. These are my major. Okay. Can you explain what is your job now? Yes, sir. So, are you working at a company or are you working at university? studying at the university 
now. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, from 2020 August to 2021 August, I worked in a company uh, named as WSKB that was regarding uh, investment creation. So now I'm looking for opportunity for my master's degree so I can just learn more things uh, regarding my field. Okay, uh, Ajay. So, how about the current status of your application form? So, they are just asking me uh, that I provided those documents from embassy attestation. So, I couldn't provide due to some reasons. So, let's go for and what they just said me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So, we have that we can see you in, the, in September in Kumin University. So, please come here. Yes, sir. Thank okay. you. Oh, please, uh, you know, thank you very much. See you. Okay. Bye. Bye. So, they just ended interview with the good remarks. So, that is a good point for our interview. So, at the end, they just clearly mentioned how was your interview. So, I just got an email of confirmation that I have cleared this interview successfully. So, these depends upon your major. Like, for uh, there were some girls who were from Korean language there were also many questions like they have to write the those words in korean and their grammar so that that was a, a little bit hard according to my major so my major was electronics so they were so polite uh, with me during interview so this is all from my side if you have any question regarding interview or anything you can just ask me thanks so much for watching